The Boeing XB-38 Flying Fortress emerged from wartime necessity when the United States Army Air Corps sought alternatives to standard Wright R-1820 radial engines, fearing potential shortages that could disrupt B-17 production. Vega Aircraft Corporation, a Lockheed subsidiary in Burbank, California, converted the 9th production B-17E, Serial 41201, by replacing four air-cooled Wright Cyclone R-1820-65 engines with liquid-cooled Allison V-1710-89 V-12 engines. These turbo-supercharged engines displaced 1,710.597 cubic inches and produced 1,100 horsepower continuously at 2,600 revolutions per minute up to 30,000 feet, with military power reaching 1,425 horsepower at 3,000 revolutions per minute. Engine installation required significant modifications. Coolant radiators were positioned in wing leading edges between inboard and outboard engine mounts. Each Allison V1710 measured 7 feet 1.34 inches long, weighed 1,350 pounds, and drove three bladed constant speed propellers through 2.01 gear reduction. The streamlined configuration promised improved aerodynamic efficiency. Chief Pilot Bud Martin conducted the maiden flight on May 19, 1943, completing conversion in under a year. Testing revealed increased top speed over the standard B-17E, though service sealing was compromised. Early flights were suspended due to exhaust manifold gas leaks before testing resumed. The program ended tragically on June 16, 1943, during the ninth test flight. Martin and former naval aviator George Archibald MacDonald were testing over California's San Joaquin Valley when the number three engine caught fire. Unable to extinguish flames, both crew members bailed out. McDonald's parachute failed, killing him instantly. Martin's parachute malfunctioned, causing severe injuries, though he survived. The XB-38 crashed near Tipton, California, destroying the only example built. McDonald, born August 7, 1901, in Anaconda, Montana, served as naval aviator number 4331 since 1926 and was buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Glendale, California. The Army Air Corps canceled the project following the crash. Performance improvements were marginal, but the primary cancellation factor was high V-1710 engine demand for fighter production, particularly P-38 Lightning, P-40 Warhawk, and P-51A Mustang programs. The XB-38's 28-day flight program provided valuable data on liquid-cooled engines in heavy bomber applications. This unique variant underscores wartime's delicate balance between innovation and resource allocation, where promising concepts often fell victim to more pressing production priorities.